Less than 68 is going to be a fun one. Uh, this one, you just toy around with our TI-84 calculator. Now, you do need one of these. If, if you don't have one of these, then you're kind of fending for yourself on this one. Um, but I'm basically going to show you how to put all these different examples in your calculator. And that can save you a lot of time. And we like saving time and a little bit of effort. Um, great technology. So, lesson 68, we're going to look at our first example, scientific notation here. And it gives us all this, and it wants us to <coughs> simplify. So I'm basically, I'm going to try to get this camera to where you can see it pretty clearly. So, um, what I'm going to do, see if we can see the camera, or the problem, there we go, that's a good angle. I'll try to keep it as steady as I can, but now you can see the problem pointing there in my calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it gives one parenthesis. Well, I'm going to put two parentheses. The reason is because I want to bracket that individual set of parentheses or the calculator is going to do the order of operations improperly. So I do a double bracket, hit negative, 40,652. Now, how do we do times 10 to the 8th and negative 8th in the calculator? Well, what you do is if you see right here above the comma on mine, you can see it says EE, -E, blue, it says two big capital EEs. That is actually our scientific notation button. That's like saying times 10 to the whatever. So from here, I push second, the comma button, which gives me EE. -E, and then uh, I push negative 8. And so that is saying times 10 to the negative 8th power. That's how you do scientific notation in your calculator. Then close parentheses. Uh, oh, dang it. Did I do the wrong way? Yep. It's hard to see on this thing. Where's the delete button? Okay. Close parentheses. Open the other parentheses and do 0 0.000. .000 three, two, four. I'm really hoping I don't make any errors. It's hard to see. EE -E, and it's to the 15th power. So we type that in. Do my double parentheses at the end to finish the parentheses and then put it in a bracket. I push enter and it gives me all that jazz. Uh, negative one something and all that. Well from here that's not scientific, that's the right answer, but it's not scientific notation. To get it into scientific notation, I push mode, go down, or sorry, and uh, my top, top row there, it says normal at first. I'm going to push it to SCI, standing for scientific. Push enter, I get out of there, I push enter again, and it gives me negative 1.3 yada 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 times 10 to the 8th, and that is the correct answer. So that's how you do scientific notation in your calculator. Let's look at example 68.2. It's going to be easier if you can just look in your book and type it in on your own. So this one's division of the same numbers. So I push parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and double it up. Negative 40,652 times 10 to the negative 8th power, double close parentheses, divided by, I do double parentheses again, 0 0.000324 times 10, so second comma, to the 15th power, double close parentheses, Bada bing, bada boom, negative 1.25 roughly times 10 to the negative 15th power. And that's how you type it into your calculator. I know you couldn't see my buttons there, but you could see my answers. Um, you, the, really, the key button you got to know here is you got to know to do the double parentheses and then the second comma because right above the comma is the EE. -E. Now uh, let's look at. Um, Example 68.3 and 68.4. These are actually easier to insert into your calculator. 
Now the book says to like estimate this stuff first, and we're like, no, we're going to skip on that. Um, so <clears throat> what we do to solve for 68.3 is we have uh, 50.42 to the 3.28 root or whatever. So I'm going to punch in my square root, or actually, sorry, let me make sure I have this right. Okay, for if you push, hold on, let me make sure I have this right first. Um, 3.28. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do to solve here, I had to refresh myself, is I'm going to actually type in 3.28 first. Type in 3.28. From there, I push math. Where's math? Math. And if you look at the fifth spot, it gives the little X with the radical sign. Well, if I push enter, what we have basically said is the 3.28 is our square root, what we are square rooting by or whatever. Then I type in 50.42 inside, hit enter, and I get 3.304 and it gives that if I want to go back to my regular mode, I simply click math, enter on normal, clear to get out of there, hit enter again. And it's really the same thing. It's not times 10 to any power. Those are all the decimals. But that's how you do that one. And then the last one, this one's easy. All you do is, I'm going to go ahead and put in the parentheses like it does. Parentheses for 68.4. I'm on 68.4. Parentheses 9.26. Close parentheses. I hit my little caret button right here under the clear button. Hit caret. And that's to the 4.58 power. Enter. And I get that. Okay. Um, and if I want to put it in scientific mode, hit enter. 2.67. All that stuff. The book gives it as 26,000. 734, but it's all the same. And then uh, I can do the same thing for the negative one for B. Open parentheses, 9.26, close parentheses. Give the caret to the, make sure you do the negative sign, not subtraction. Negative 4.58. And enter 3.74 to the negative fifth power. And so that's how you do these calculator problems. That's all it is, there is to it, so mess around with it. You can actually do calculator in all scientific notation. Uh, but that's the end of lesson 68.